The recent fires in California, Australia, and now Hawaii are unlike anything we've ever seen before. They are being called forest fires and wildfires, but they are clearly something very different. These fires are burning homes into a white powdery ash footprint, while often leaving the surrounding green trees and shrubs practically untouched. In extreme cases, forest fires can reach temperatures up to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit, and the melting point of aluminum is 1220 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is possible for an extreme forest fire to melt aluminum. But there are cars with puddles of melted aluminum that were clearly not in the wildfire area. And melted glass, which has a melting point around 2500 degrees Fahrenheit. These are unexplained anomalies. In the California fires of 2018, cars were randomly bursting into flames on the freeway with no surrounding fires. We've seen these same anomalies in New York City on September 11th, 2001. Cars completely burned out with no explanation. In Maui, these unnatural fires spared the homes of the rich while burning the native homes of the working class. With precision, these fires destroyed the most envied, high-valued areas of Maui. For decades, directed energy weapons have been classified, but they have been on the public record for several years now. Directed energy weapons, known as DUES, have the ability to burn homes with this sort of precision. But in order to be this precise, the area would have to be mapped out. In January of this year, green lasers were seen over Hawaii, which could best be described as a geospatial array for mapping terrain. We have seen that among the ashy ruins, there are blue colored objects that have somehow survived the devastation. Blue cars, blue umbrellas, a blue boat, blue planters. Videos online are going viral that show how lasers can easily burn through certain colored objects, but objects that are colored blue remain unharmed. Directed energy weapons include lasers, millimeter wave, and microwave. They are all based on light frequencies, and different wavelengths of light affect colors differently. For example, in laser tattoo removal, different wavelengths are used for removing different colors. And this is because color is a quality of light. Each color has its own frequency. Interestingly enough, the frequency of the color blue is 6.66. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese. Thank you for watching the latest Greg Reese Report. Be sure to go to reesreport.com to see my latest videos, sign up for my free newsletter, and subscribe for exclusive content. And be sure to support my sponsor at InfoWarsStore.com.